right, guys, moving on from Chicago, there was another piece of news in the running world this week. Jenny Simpson is back. She signed with Puma. There are a lot of speculation this year. Where's Jenny Simpson? Why hasn't she raced? Because she hasn't raced at all in 2022. It's now come out. Her New Balance contract was up at the end of 2021. She, for a long time, operated without an agent, but Sarah Lodge Butler reports a run as well. She actually hired Howie Kofalewski to negotiate a new deal. She signed with Puma, and it looks like she's going to be moving to the roads, which I think is an interesting decision because she's a former U.S. champion in the 5K on the track. She's run a lot of run and won a lot of Fifth Avenue miles, but her greatest success by far was in the 1500. And if you're a 1500 runner moving up to the roads, there's not a lot of high profile options. I mean, I guess you can run some 5Ks and 10Ks, but Really, if you're moving to the roads, it's one day with the aim that you're eventually going to become a marathoner. And it sounds like that's what Jenny's going to try to do as well, but that's a long way to move up from 1500 to the marathon. So what do we make of Jenny Simpson returning to the sport and returning, or now heading to the roads? Well, I'm glad she's still in the sport, but am I expecting much of it? No. Got you hard, Howie Kofleski. I think he's a great guy. I also think he's great at getting stars that are past their prime one final contract. So. What did uh, Leo Manzano ever do for Hoka? Help me out with some other people, John, that the sort of end of their careers. I mean, do we really expect? Well, Le- Leo Manzano whoa, 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 whoa. Won, a, won a U.S. title for Hoka in 2014. Yeah. He made a world championship final in 2015. He almost made the Olympics in 2016. He was not, he didn't uh, win an Olympic silver medal, but he had a few decent years for Hoka. And he and, helped propel their brand to, you know, he his signing lent them legitimacy and they were able to sign more people after that. I think Leo Manzano did plenty for Hoka. Agreed 100%, John. That signing changed the perception of Hoka with so many people's mind. It's like, wow, the Olympic medalist is with Hoka. The shoes m- must be a legit performance product. Like, I think Leo did so much for Hoka. He's still working for Hoka now today. Like, I think he did a ton for Hoka. Like, I'm not saying it's the- not a bad signing. I went on the message board last night. I said, this is a great signing. Like, what? what? Jenny was making well north of $500,000 a year for New Balance. Is she worth that from a performance standpoint? Absolutely not. Do I think she's going to do much of anything on the roads? No, I do not. But could she be interesting? Could she run 225 in the marathon? Maybe. I mean, do I expect her to be a modern-day Rod Dixon who was, you know, a New York City marathon champion as well as a medalist in the 1500? No, I do not. So, but I, I, I think it's good to see her get money, to see her get paid. To, and, and I think it gives... Puma some publicity. They're trying to get back in the game. So that's good. They've got some high profile um, women in the U.S. now. I mean, they're kind of taking the New Balance approach of let's go with the women. And they've got Molly Seidel. They've got Jenny Simpson. They've got Fiona Akeev. So they've got a, a nice little stable of U.S. women. But yes or no, Jenny Simpson, look, we need to remember, folks, she just ran 10th place in the Olympic trials last year. Did not make an Olympic team. She's 36 years of age. Do I expect her to find a new event where she can make a 24 Olympic team at age 38? No, I do not. What about you? Oh, absolutely not. No, I mean, I think she showed some promise by running. She ran 52-16 for 10 miles at the Cherry Blossom 10 miler in September 2021. She got beat by Nell Rojas, who went on to be the top finisher at Boston later that fall. I thought that was a pretty decent run for Jenny, but I viewed that as decent for someone coming up from the track with her background. I don't see her making much of an impact in the half marathon or the marathon, certainly not internationally, but even domestically, it's just going to be tough for... She's 357 on the track, 1500. You know, She was a great middle distance runner. It's very hard to move up and find success at those, in those events, especially late in your career. So yeah, I I'm, I think she'll be a good ambassador for Puma. It's good that she's continuing the sport and I'd love to see her prove me wrong. And if she has some success, I think it's going to be a fascinating story, but I'm not super optimistic about her finding big success in the half and the full marathon, which are the two big road distances. I guess John's not a student of the sport to just a Sefa. John, everyone now, every, wait, what Jenny's, what's Jenny's 800 PR? 
too flat, but she's mm-hmm. she's run so she's I bet in her prime she could have run 157 or 158. I think she just never really raced many 800s in bet her best shape. Yeah, do I expect Jenny to be a marathon star? No, but the 52 minute half of, of anyone sort of who was so focused on the mile, we forget or Robert never forgets, but she originally was a steeplechaser with the Colorado training method. If anyone can step up to the marathon and be a factor, I think it might be her. No, I don't expect her to make an Olympic team or anything like that at all. But I guess the question for John and Robert, did you guys realize she had no sponsor this year? No, because she hadn't raced. So I, I, I thought, and she always struck, struck me as someone who'd be with New Balance for a long time. Oh, wait, sorry, for the rest of her career. She has been with New Balance for a long time. She signed with them in 2010. She always spoke very highly, seemed like she had a great relationship. I thought it was quite telling, actually, what she said to Sarah Lodge Butler upon leaving New Balance. She said, Parting ways with New Balance will be one of the great heartbreaks of my life. It was really hard. I didn't want to make a change, but life is full of surprises. So clearly, she had a big connection with them. She wanted to stay with them. And I don't know whether it's because they were just asking her to take a massive pay cut or if they said, no, we're not going to sign you at all. But she seemed like she wanted to continue with them and she didn't. So I I was surprised by that. Yeah, I was big time surprised. And when we talked about what Leo Bonzano did for Hoka, I mean, Jenny's been synonymous with New Balance and running the United States. And besides her, really, New Balance... They did. They did nothing. I mean, they had Boris Brain and stuff, but they did. Then they do nothing on the men's side in running. Jenny was the trailblazer for them, right? Jenny and Emma Coburn for the twenty tens lent them a lot of credibility. They were sort of the faces of New Balance. So for her to leave and sport a different brand, yeah, it's like Leo Manzano was a Nike athlete, but he was one of many. Jenny, for a lot of people in the United States, was New Balance. So it is going to be weird seeing her in a Puma kit. Yeah, it is kind of. Figured the way New Balance does it, they would keep her in some role. Um, but hey, business is business, I guess. Even even for them, you know, they don't operate with the traditional Nike model of signing up the best and and you know everything. They've been very focused, more so, in just sponsoring women and uh, yeah, Emma too. So interesting that it came this way. I'm glad she got a sponsor. Puma's doing a lot of you know Puma's throwing a lot of money around. People are noticing and good to see, you know, more people Puma back into running. I mean, they've always been in running with bolts and that sort of stuff, but they, they need to show, Hey, you know, we make good distance running shoes, that sort of thing. They also have Warhol and they've got a lot of track athletes. Oh, they got Mondo. I mean, they got Elaine Thompson. Hurrah. That they, that's certainly but, very relevant on the track. Right. I guess none of those are distance shoes though. So what? To me, I'm more interested in another story that, that came out. Uh, I think it also might have been on Runner's World. Molly Seidel, um, another Puma athlete, you know, wants to be known. She wants the article's titled, Want You to Know That She Still Struggles. 